So let's find the x-intercept and the y-intercept of an equation. The equation we're going to choose is 3x minus 4y equals 24. And so I want to find out what its x-intercept is. So in order to do that, I have to kind of remember a little bit about the location of the x-intercept. I know that crosses the x or the y-axis. Well, the x-intercept crosses the x-axis. So when it crosses the x-axis, would we know about its y-value or its y-coordinate? Do you remember that it's zero? And if you do, that's going to help make this problem a very simple problem to do. So the x-intercept means that its y-coordinate is zero. So I can substitute zero in for y and solve this problem. 3x, zero makes that problem go away. It basically cancels out that term, which makes finding intercepts a very powerful tool. E equals 24, x equals eight. So I have an x-intercept of eight. And if I wanted its coordinate pair at that particular time, I know its coordinate pair is, is 8, 0. And both of those mean the same thing. Y-intercept of 8 represents its coordinate pair of 8, 0. Okay, now with its y-intercept. Well, it's similar as it was before. Its y-intercept means that this graph crosses the y-axis at the point where x equals 0. Uh, and so... In, what I can do then is I know that the x value will be 0, and I can solve that equation. Again, zeros are powerful. It wipes out an entire term, so I'm left with just minus 4y equals 24, y equals a negative 6. So I have a y-intercept of negative 6, and its coordinate is at the point zero and negative six. Now, I love this idea, but I remember the first time I started exploring it, it took me a lot of time to make sense of which one's zero. If I'm looking for the x-intercept, the y is, y, y is the y zero, and vi vice versa. And so, with a few practice problems drawing this out, I think it will become um, solidified in your mind of why that is the case, and also to start to appreciate how powerful this idea is of finding intercepts. And maybe we can use them to help us do some more complicated problems uh, in the near future.